This program is proudly brought to you by the VAFA Live Official App. With live scores, team stats, player stats and much, much more. Everything you need for the VAFA in the palm of your hand. Download it from the App Store or Google Play now. Good afternoon, it's Jared Gleeson here at the Dairy Bell Oval, where this afternoon, De La Salle Old Boys have had a 10 point victory over St Kevin's Old Boys. I've got with me this afternoon Guy Martin, the head coach of uh, St Kevin's Old Boys. Guy, what is it about this ground and this club? <laughs> the last two years it's been remarkably similar uh, oh. sort of uh, games. It wasn't as bad as last year. <laughs> that was that was really bad. But uh, they did get away early as they did yeah, last year. Yeah, they did. I mean, what, seven goals to one at half time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think it's a little bit. It's a bit both ways. I think they maybe grow a leg. They play, you know, playing out at Dairy Bell. Uh, speaking to Schwabby very briefly after the game, they you know, he was really happy and, and sort of said that that's as good as they've played. And we've spoken about this so many times that uh, internally as well, teams teams grow a leg, especially early. And unless you can sort of kill it, it just yeah you know, keeps building and building. Um, in terms of this ground, I mean I don't know why it's got demons. It's it, you know it's about the same size as our ground. It's around the corner from our ground. Um, I don't know, I think they just got off to the start and, and we weren't good enough to, to halt or kill that momentum early and, you know, we, we battled hard late, but, um, you know, you're giving away too much for a head start. But then uh, you did have the wherewithal to come home with a five goal to two last quarter and dominated the last quarter. Um, you know, where did that come from and, and, and could you have extracted that a bit earlier? Oh, we certainly could have extracted a bit earlier. That was the plan. Um, oh, look, I think it just comes from, we, we were reactive, we weren't playing the way we really wanted to. I think guys, I just spoke briefly to the team, we sort of, we, we go, you know, good, good, good. Um, and then we get a, a wake up call. And I've, I've said it again, said this a number of times, this competition's so even. Mm-hmm. Um, and when you're not on, you're off and you're really off. And that was evident today, that first half, seven goals to one. Um, you know, it's credit to DL, absolutely, but th- that shouldn't have got that far ahead. And then you, you work your, your backside off to peg them back. And we, you know, we sort of did, but then one little mistake, free kick, goal in the last quarter. So that momentum goes straight back. And when you're giving up such a, um, a head start, it's, it's too much. So it's, it's really disappointing. We spoke about an opportunity, and, and today's such an opportunity missed. You know, now we're 5 3. Is ahead of the middle, but not much ahead. We could have been, we could have gone into Queen's birthday six two, which yeah. we're then, pretty so, happy with. So you got the buy now, and then uh, an, another important game against Old Melbourne. And to uh, as you say, it's very even competition, and they're looking okay. So what happens next? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I mean they looking at the scores. I think they're going to win again today. So they are looking looking really good. Um, I think the buy gets us. We, we lost to Xavier before the buy. Maybe the guys have got their eyes uh, set on the weekend off rather than the the game. Um, oh, what, what was the question? <laughs> what, what, what's the plan? <laughs> oh, look. I, I, I think it's how we respond. Um, you know, it's a wake up call. The first half was a wake up call. I think the. The, the second, the first half last week was a bit of a wake up call, but we responded really well. We couldn't quite respond now, so I, I, I put it back on the players and just see what's your response to a pretty disappointing game in a really winnable game. You know, not taking anything away from Dela because they were really good, but today was clearly a winnable game and, um, and we missed it. So you look at just how the how the response um, from the boys will be. Well, Guy, congratulations on how the, the boys fought it out yep. and good luck uh, in a fortnight's time against Old Melbourne. Thank you. Okay, across to my colleague now, Keed, with the coach of De La Salle. Thanks, Jared. I'm here with the winning coach for DLA, uh, Peter Swab. Um, Peter, how did you feel about today's game? It was must have been a tough um, few weeks there. You were getting better each week. There was parts in games that you were getting better. Uh, but this week you just came out and you were on fire from the start. Oh, it's great to win, you know. As you know, we've had a, probably a month of losing. So, uh, no, the, the, the mood around the club's always been positive and uh, we've kept working hard at our game. And, you know, we focused on our effort first quarter and three of the uh, d- d- dinos who are playing out here are all playing their 300th game and two of the guys came in and just chatted about the club and what it meant to them and I think you know that sort of you can never say that motivation wins your games well, I think that was a nice little add-on for the uh, the team and the spirit was always up and bubbly so 
uh, we, we started well, which we haven't done for a while. So to get away to a good start was excellent. Yep. Um, there was a couple of players that I thought really stood out for you today. It's hard to go through them all, but Hugh Nicholson had 35 disposals. What were your thoughts on his game? Oh, Hugh's been our best player all year. You know, he's been outstanding. So he's only lightly framed kids, but um, just super tenacious. Just bores in, hunts the footy. Um, just got a lot of respect for the way he goes about it. So yeah, I thought he was very, very good. Um, Fredo in the ruck, 60 hitouts was enormous. Yeah, well, you know, Ant's probably been down on form, to be honest. And um, we had a chat during the week, and I think he, you know, he said last year he had a really great game against St Kevin's here, and I said, well, we need you. And uh, he delivered in spades today. I thought, you know, he he was a real key to us winning the game. Yep. Um, and Thomas Humphreys was probably the most uh, solid defender all day down back for you guys. You'd be happy with his game? Oh, yeah. Well, Tom's our captain and, you know, he's probably missed most of the year. And it just showed today how important he is to the group. Uh, his leadership's phenomenal and uh, thought he was outstanding. Yep. Um, well... You've got a break now. Um, what do you do coming into the break where uh, the guys will be able to hopefully um, get over any injuries that they have from today or any sore spots? Do you get anyone back after the break? Uh, we're, not, we're pretty much close to full, full strength, I think, by, by the time we return. So that'll be a positive. We'll train Monday and Tuesday and then I think give the guys a, a full week off and um, get away for the weekend and enjoy themselves and then knuckle down leading into uh, round nine against Trinity, which is a massive game for us. Uh, oh, OK. Well, all the best for uh, against Old Trinity after the bye. Um, that's it down here where d -Lar have run out winners over St Kevin's. Thank you. This has been another Complete Sports Management production.